Hello guys, welcome to a new quick tutorial. Today we will make this nice animation of a fill-in milk jug. This animation would be a pain in the back <laughs> doing it just with rigging only or just with frame per frame. So today we will use a life saving technique combining frame per frame and rigging. So stay tuned and enjoy the tutorial. So here we have this simple frame per frame animation. So we have these, how are they called? Breasts. So they are squeezing and then we have these streams of milk that are getting out here. And we can see that one is on the left and the other one is on the right. And they come and go, they come and go. And also on this layer we have a modifier that is a noise modifier to make this animation of the milk stroke a little bit more realistic all we need now is the jug filling with milk but we want the milk to be undulating on the surface and also to be getting up and filling the jug and also we need to time it with the milking or the powering of the milk so when the milk is powering we want the jug to fill up a little bit and then stop when the milk stops and then get up again and all the while undulating on the surface let's go to edit mode if we try to do the usual technique that we used here with the breast that is here the interpolation interpolate sequence it would be a very complex animation so what we are going to do is to create the milk create just the undulation and then rig it and make it go up Let's go to the layers. So we have the jug mask and it is just the fill of the jug. We have the handle fill, the milk stream layer. We have the jug lines here and the jug fill will act as a mask when we create our milk. So we will create the milk layer above the jug mask. You see that there is also transparency on this layer. You could add the milk below or above your fill here. So if it's under it it will be partly hidden of course we have 2d layers activated here in the strokes so let's create our new layer here let's call it milk then go to draw mode select our square tool here um select the stroke and fill material and then we will draw a square just here make it a little bit larger than the jug and higher than the jug so that it can go all up here and we won't see the bottom of it okay so enter let's get out of camera view one and let's go to edit mode let's select this upper side here and we can see all these points but we need more points here if we want to add a beautiful undulation here so right click subdivide here you can right click again and subdivide again or go here to this menu and in the numbers of cut set it to two or maybe three i think two is enough and now we will enable this button here proportional editing you can enable it in the keyboard by hitting o let's go here let's hit g and z to move it just on this axis and now with the wheel of the mouse you can make the area of the proportional editing bigger or lower i think this is good here let's go to this one now g z to move it on the z axis only and move it like this again you can adjust your proportional editing with the mouse wheel you will notice that by mistake i created two frames here because i didn't work on frame one i created the square on frame 12 that was dumb and then i edited it on frame 19 so i just need this frame so let's move it to frame one g and then move it here and let's delete this frame xd now we go to frame number 12 shift d duplicate and we will do the opposite now the points that are lower will be up and the points that are up will be low <laughs> okay so g z let's move this guy here g z let's put it up i think i'm gonna do the lower points first and then do the upper points and now if you go with the arrows here on your keyboard you can check the upper points so the points that are up should be low here it's this point we need to lower yeah this point is up it should be down this time so g z 
let's adjust it a little bit very nice again let's check which one which one needs to go down yeah it's this one here so back to frame 12 select it and i think we are done very nice now let's go to frame 24 and duplicate the first frame here we select these two we get our playhead here in the middle of these two points and then go to grease pencil interpolate sequence and we have an animation here okay and we do the same for these two points so we select them only again grease pencil interpolate sequence and we have this animation very nice so the undulation is done what we need now is to loop this animation so let's go to object mode and let's go to the modifiers here and add a new modifier it's the time offset modifier let it be a custom range and change it to frame one to just 24 because we have 24 frames in this animation and then the influence we choose our milk layer so that this modifier the time offset modifier works only on the milk layer and not on all the other layers so now our milk will undulate again and again and the first part of our animation is done now it's time to do the rigging so shift a armature single bone okay where is our bone it's up there look at our bone here hit one on the keyboard go here to edit mode select the bone get it down here select the upper part here g z and move it like this we have a small bone here f2 on the keyboard milk okay so let's parent uh, our co object to our new bone select the co first and then shift select the bone Control p set parent to armature deform with empty groups okay and now if we go to our object here and we go to object data properties here vertex groups we see a milk group here okay we go to weight painting mode and now we are going to paint the milk layer as you can see i enabled auto lock inactive layers so that only my milk layer here is active and can be weight painted also we need to activate multi frame here and we need to select select our layer again and select all these frames and now we can paint them all you need to paint all the frames let's disable multi frame and now if you go through them you see that every frame is painted let's go back to um, object mode create masking for the milk and choose here our jug mask okay and now our milk is masked if you select the bone and go to uh, pose mode and then move the bone you can see that we can move our milk to fill our jug there is one more complication i could just create keyframes and time the bone with the milk stream and then do this this animation but i want also this undulation to move like this so first before doing the up animation is to do the left and right animation okay let's create a new action here let's name it milk left to right i think i'm going to get this up here and then move it with g x move it like this be careful not to show the edge of your milk and then let's go to i don't know frame 12 i think i'm gonna do the opposite so g x and move it like this very nice so we have this animation here let's duplicate the first frame to frame 24 if we change this to 24 and we play this animation you see that is disable overlay we have this nice animation of the milk but i'm going to check something here do we need all these keyframes no i don't think we do these three frames do change between here and here and here but the others as you can see it seems that they remain the same i think we only need the x location one the one that makes our bone go right and left all the others the z y location the rotation the scale all we don't need in this action so we just select and delete xd and then xd let's test the animation it still works 
very nice so now we can go here to nonlinear animation and push down our animation and then select it if you don't see this menu hit n and then go to strip and then go all the way down action clip and here in the repeat repeat it like maybe 20 times i don't know so here we have a repeat in action again changes to like 300 we can see that our loop works very nicely now go back to the dop sheet to the action editor go back to frame number one here we can start animating the up movement of this bone in frame one we hit g and then z and move this guy down here and then we go further and you see here the milk starts streaming so this is the point where our milk will start filling the jug so let's duplicate this frame to frame number eight and then go a little bit see where the milk stops powering it's here g z and move the milk a little up here see where the milk starts powering again in frame 26 so we duplicate this frame here to here i think i'm going to move this frame here to the last streaming frame and then again from here we go to this place here so g c move it up <laughs> we have finished okay let's check our animation from the start i notice also that the milk stream is above the milk layer we need to go to object mode select our hoe check the milk stream put it under the milk layer if you want this look or maybe you prefer this look also the the jug mask here can be above our milk to make it a little bit like this fading i don't know i prefer this look so let's put the milk stream again under the milk layer so our animation is working nicely but if you look closely our right to left animation is gone and that is because our new action has um how to say it overwritten <laughs> The other action let's rename this guy milk fill and let's see what we have under here again the rotation and scale i guess we don't need these frames but i won't touch them all i want to touch is here since we use the x location in the other action these frames here are not allowing the other frames in the other action to work so what we can do is just delete them select only these frames and then xd and now if we animate again you see that everything is working nicely let's disable the overlays i think i'm going to stop the animation here in frame 91 and everything looks fine so this is it this is the end of our tutorial using both techniques of frame per frame and rigging can allow us to create these kinds of animation so thank you for watching if you want to get this file it's in my gumroad account check it in the description uh, thank you for watching and see you in another video peace